Okay, fell asleep while watching that movie. Now what? Oh, Chloe's still awake. <coughs> uh oh. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, <laughs> I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. <laughs> you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Mm. I'm on it, Chloe. She need those morphines? Okay. Hey, this used to be the garage, right? They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Mm, care room? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Insurance helps, but I... Um, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Mm. Glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I... Just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Mm. Crazy weather? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. 
But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Rachel Amber is still missing. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. <laughs> More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. <laughs> and please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Okay, let's go get the morphines. Okay, why don't we look at Chloe's room? This used to be Chloe's room. Oh. There's nothing to see here. Toys? I kind of want to open this shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I guess we stopped growing up together. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Maybe that butterfly has to do with something. Okay, let's get out of here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's okay. condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak and she, she, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce, I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family and we'll always be one, no matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. 
Q, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Stay away from him. He's a creep. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Yeah, I know he's crazy. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Joyce is already a super mom. It's Better. good for Chloe to stay in touch. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Hey, is this good or bad? Can we change the pass again? Or probably go back to the time where Chloe had her ha accident. Try to save her again. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all that. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Oh my god. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Chloe, got your morphine. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. What a bastard. I totally should have let Chloe steal your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Okay, let's steal the money. <laughs> but that's a mistake. We should have still stolen the money.
Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. What? Time for me? Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Change back time again. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I don't know. Hey, such a hard decision. Change back, change our decision again, right? I don't know. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's gotta be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. I can't do this. I can't do this. Oh, no. Fuse. Chloe, I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? 
So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again.